Rates of sexually transmitted infections have been rising steadily in recent years. Between 2013 and 2017, the rates of chlamydia and gonorrhea among youth ages 15 to 24 increased by about 11 and 29 percent respectively. The good news is that a relatively simple treatment can cure most patients of chlamydia and gonorrhea, but the bad news is that it's very easy to get reinfected if a partner remains untreated. Persistent and recurring infections can cause serious and long-term health problems, including chronic pain and infertility. Successfully treating any patient with an STI must include treating their infected partners. One important tool to fight the STI crisis is expedited partner therapy, or EPT, through which the clinician provides medication or a prescription of medication to the patient to give to their partner. That way, both partners have access to treatment and the risk that either partner gets reinfected goes down substantially. In this way, EPT can also make a significant impact if one partner feels uncomfortable disclosing their sexual history to their doctor. Many research studies have found that EPT is an effective method of chlamydia treatment. Although most providers agree that EPT can help prevent reinfection and provide higher quality care for patients, many report that they don't offer this service to youth due to a number of legal, financial, and administrative barriers that vary significantly by state. For more information on those barriers and how states are trying to address them, view Policy Lab's recent policy brief on the subject. A crisis at the scale of our STI crisis demands many different solutions. The evidence shows us that EPT is one promising tool in our toolbox that will help us ensure all youth can grow into healthy, successful adults.